Jana in action. TRBD. Kazi kwa nguvu. TRBD. Hustle every day. Hustle every day. Hustle every day. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Vijana in action. G I B D. Vijana in action. Kwa majina mimi naitwa Jojo Cheno Ndalo. Nimezaliwa pale naitwa Ugenya Ukwala. When I was in school I didn't had any plan at this one day I'll, I'll be an artist. But anyway, I'm very happy to say I can say that my profession is art. During the 2002 general election there was this painting that I, I painted. It in fact I was just trying. It was uh, for the president, the former president Daniel Moy and the Uhuru Kenyatta who was by then running on a county ticket as the president as a presidential consent contestant. So that picture was very good. In fact I got it from the calendar. Ambayo Moy alivva ile ngwe yake ya kanu iko na jogo hivi na Uhuru was next to him. So I just I just look at it then ikafikiria oh god. I know very well that I can paint and I've never tried. Can I do something about this? So I just took a, a canvas kidogo and I had some paints then I started to paint it. <laughs> and I can remember a situation where I carried that portrait paka paka the ghetto of the state house and I was pushed very very seriously. Then from there there was this friend of mine whom I called the professor uh, Alikwa the professor at the Nairobi University Chiromo campus alikuwa anaitwa professor Ole Maloi. Then I called him nikamwambia kuna picha nyingine niko nayo hapa. I wanted to reach the president because I knew alikuwa na some close ties na na president. Akakuja, akaona hiyo picha, akasema ni poa. Akaichukua, akasema hii jioni itakuwa imeshamfikia mzee. Enyewe, after three days he called me akasema mzee aliona hiyo picha akachukua amefurahi, akatupatia kitu kidogo nikuletee. Kufungua basha it was 20,000. Twa was very happy. Nikasema wow, so kumbe I can leave the mijengo thing that I do this thing can earn. picture is a private property. I better start na ile iko kwa gazeti ile mbaya. Na nikimpelekea kiona, anasema, "Hey, na umejaribu na hii picha ulitumia ni picha gani hii?" Ninamwambia, "Hii picha ya mzee nilitumia nilipata kwa gazeti, lakini kama naweza pata yako ile mzuri, naenda nayo na rekebisha inakuwa mzuri." So, after seeing this picture on the newspaper, I studied it. The next thing I do is that now natafuta canvas after that naweka sketch vile unaona hiyo sketch na pencil imewekwa hivyo after sketching naanza kuweka rangi I should have a brush paint i need maybe thinner mm. kitu ama paraffin the palette where huwa nafinya the specific paint nataka kutumia another piece of kitamba ambayo napanguza na, na, nayo brush My form of painting is called fine art. It is different from abstract form of art, landscaping or other forms of art. Fine art is simply goes just like its name, fine. It comes out real. Second, usikue na haraka na kazi yenye unafanya. Kuwa relaxed. Ikifika pahali unawachana nayo, unaenda una relax, unalala, unakunywa kasoda kako kama ziwa. You come back at a time that you feel now you can continue with it the fact that my my first 
painting I was given 20,000 as a token by the former president, I can say that that was not the start of capital. I started with kitu kama 1,500. So that's why also I can tell the youth that waache kuangalia pesa mingi wakitaka kwanza biashara. Unaanza kuanzia biashara kwa njugu tu, kuuza una, una graduate fee kwa mayai and you might find yourself that at, at the end of the day you are somewhere. Na ipiga picha ile snapshot ile the photo na na namtafuta na mpelekea na mwambie mzee mimi uchora lakini round hii nimekufanyia hii. Akipenda ataniambia iko wapi enda ulete ama kama ataki anasema hii picha ngawa umechora vizuri lakini kenye utafanya chukua hii picha uende urekebishe nayo this one it can start from 25000 it can run up to 80000 ikishaisha na iweke frame vizuri so umejua each and every picture ama painting the finishing part of it inakuwa framing ukiweka ukichore picha mzuri na uweke frame vizuri ita sell vizuri If I was to exhibit such a painting, such a painting, let's say in New York, exhibition stand, and it was to be auctioned, it cannot go less than 10 million. So with the government as a, as a Kenyan and the passion I have for this country, I can sell it 1.5 million to the nation. What is different about George is that George does not paint to earn or, or to get money. I paint because I like to paint and I paint people whom I love. I just don't paint anybody. I, lo I paint people who love my work and the people who, whom I also feel the love for them. It's people who have done something that, that has a positive impact to this country or to world at large. The success of Rudisha, okay, in the track record, that is what inspired me most to paint him as a, a young Kenyan artist hmm, who is just a youthful artist like him. In fact, I feel very much proud if I do something, I work like this for him. I also do personal pictures. Wasione ati ni kazi kazi kubwa kubwa ndiyo mimi ufanya za watu wa kubwa kubwa pana. Niko hata na wao pia. Kenye wako pia kama mtu wako interested, achore. Niko. You don't have to be sitting behind a desk for you to feel like you're earning a salary. Do something that can help you. Vijaya, explore your talents. I mean, I don't to funding here, youth. We more serious. We are more bureaucracy. Mingi. I mean, we apply. We are too straightforward. We are not going process mob. We do not going to do anything. We are not going to do anything. The stuff about the youth group stuff. I think it's complicated a little because if it was easier. It would be easily accessible. And then it, it further the cost of the amount, I think it's too minimal. Because uh, I think it's, let's say, they talk about 50k for 10 people. I think that's too little. My opinion about the, the youth fund, I think the government is doing a great job, especially for the youth. Actually, the youth have been having a problem of getting money, but the program that government started to 
to fund the youth. I think it's a, it's a great work. I've struggled a lot with my family. The only acknowledge my work and appreciation last month when I appeared on the nation. That's when they got surprised, Kumbe Uyukijana, Kumbe Ako Serious. Because all along we find that my mother, Alikuwa Ki complained Kabisa that if I have nothing to do in town, I better go home. Nanikalime Shamba. Lakini what I'm trying to do will not take me anywhere. But I was telling him no. What I'm what I'm doing that is now me, that is real me. And that's what I like. While I was in Madari, there were very, very talented artists, even more than me. But I believe that if they can be brought forward, okay, if they can get somebody with that knowledge that can, maybe with the investment, who want to invest in them, they can come out to be very, very great artists. So I've been to Kibira, I've been to, to those slums around Madare, Kibira, Korokocho, and I've managed to encounter several of them. My main dream is that one day I'll be able to have my art gallery, a gallery, not a small room like this, a gallery who I can accommodate even 100 students who are related to learn of something to do with painting. In fact, I'll be very, very happy if now they come out to be, to be good artists, they can paint well, they can earn something from themselves. And going with the name that George Ndalo was the artist who made us to do so. My advice to the youth is that you have the right for your own life and you know what is good for you and what you need to do at whichever time. Don't let somebody to try to control your life with whichever way you want to do it or whichever ways you want to live it. If you find yourself that you have potential, you are talented in something, let's say you are a musician, you have that talent in you, because your talent will definitely come out from you. You just realize that it is there. Don't allow anybody to, to, to put you down. Hmm? You better try a way of which you can nurture that your talent. Saseni Vijana, Mimi Komajana naitwa George Otieno Ndalo, and I'm, I'm an artist, and I'm happy you are watching Vijana in Action. Vijana in Action TRBD Kazi kwa nguvu TRBD Hustle every day, hustle every day, hustle every day.